Hello guys, I'm Melissa Friel Diaz and today we are here at the Yolanda Shipwreck Memorial Park. So, this ship was washed inland when the city was devastated by Super Typhoon Yolanda. This was preserved and became one of the tourist spots here in Tacloban. So come and join me as we explore this tourist spot here in Tacloban. Good day guys, today we are here at the San Juanico Bridge. Come and join me as we take a look at the longest bridge in the Philippines. The San Juanico Bridge connecting the provinces of Samar and Leyte is one of the monumental projects under former President Ferdinand Marcos' administration. Construction of the bridge commenced during 1969 presidential campaign. It was finally completed four years later, in 1973, and was inaugurated on July 2, in celebration of Imelda Marcos' birthday. Hello guys, welcome to my vlog! Oh, joke! Vlog, welcome to my guys! Oh. Hey guys, um, today we are here at the Korean Park. So, the Korean Park was built by Korean Army who helped the people of Leyte, Philippines. Particularly those in Tacloban, Palo, and Tanawan. Restore their homes, schools, and livelihood after the rot of Super Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda in our local name. Hello guys, so today we are here at the Municipal of Palo and we are going to know the history of Palo and I'll show you the beauty of it. The discovery of the advancing communities of Palo dates back to the early 16th century AD along the banks of Bangon River. However, local historians believe that the settlement of Palo started as early as the 10th to 13th century AD. The first settlement were the Kingdom of Takuranga, first name of Palo under King Guban, and the Kingdom of Kaluugan, the second name of Palo under King Pitik. 
From the 14th to 16th centuries, some other settlements were formed which also became the succeeding names of Palo until finally in 1550, Don Miguel Lopez de Legazpi coalesced the settlements and named the new confederation Palo. The other settlements were Kas Kasangitan, Binangalan, Kasuguran, Bunga, Bangon, and Gindapunat. Palo is considered to be one of the most historical towns of Leyte. It is well known as the site of General Douglas MacArthur's return to the Philippines together with Philippine and American military forces after a period of exile. In 1944, 